So not that long ago, genetic testing was only offered to people with rare disorders and to their families. And we spent a lot of time evaluating the impact of genetic testing in those individuals and those families. But now genetic testing is going to be increasingly offered to a wide variety of patients in a wide variety of clinical settings. And my research is aiming to evaluate how we can ethically and effectively uh, guide the introduction of this testing to maximally benefit patients. She is a genetic counselor by training. She has done a PhD in um, next generation sequencing and she has a year-long track record in psychosocial aspects of uh, genetics, which from my point of view is really very, very relevant. My work in developing resources and guidelines about how we should offer uh, genetic testing to these individuals will mean that hopefully they're more empowered to make the best decision for themselves about whether or not genetic testing is right for them and be able to anticipate what types of results that test might produce. Indirectly, I'm also going to be educating cancer physicians so that they feel more empowered to consent their patients in the first place and also to be able to discuss the types of results that come out of genetic testing. When it comes to my research, it's the patient that motivates me, the patients and their family members. I worked in clinical practice for years and I know how genetic conditions and genetic testing can impact individuals and families. I'm driven to make sure that genetic testing being introduced widely in clinical practice is to the maximum benefit of the patient while all the time mitigating any risks. I have nominated Adine for this award because she's a natural collaborator, a great communicator and she definitely stands out of the crowd. I think she will have a great future as a researcher.